Hi guys, and welcome back to Leslie Through the Looking Glass. For those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Leslie. I'm so happy to have you. For our returning viewers, as always, thank you so much for coming back to support my channel. Um, all right guys, today we are back with another Mental Health Monday. Happy Labor Day. I hope everybody is enjoying their day and their weekend. Um, I don't have a ton again today. Oh, excuse me. Sleepy. Uh, we spent the morning at my in-laws at their pool, so I am a little bit sleepy, but it was a nice morning with our family. Um, I just feel like lately I haven't had a ton to talk about because I just feel like I'm kind of treading water, staying in the same place. Um, not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, just where we're at right now. Um, the only thing I was going to talk about a little bit was just um, kind of challenging yourself and stepping outside of your comfort zone and how important I feel like that is when you're struggling with anxiety. Um, obviously, like you learn all these coping mechanisms and have all these tools and it's important to not just learn how to use them, but learn how to use them so they don't not only in crisis um so not like when you're in a situation that pops up on you and you panic yes you want to be able to use your tools in that situation and get yourself back on track but for me i've really learned how to use them to manage going into a stressful situation so that i'm less likely to say no to going to do things um and i just really want to um talk about how important I feel like that is um, once you get a grip on getting you know those feelings under control when you're in panic mode I um, and this is a really like trivial example of that I feel but for me it was just a really big thing um, so if you follow me on Instagram you know that I am lucky enough to be a brand rep for a couple of companies um, and I love that. It is something that I really enjoy doing. It's one of the main reasons I wanted to build my Instagram is so I could share these companies that I have found and just fallen in love with. Um, and one of the ways to do that is obviously shooting content with their items. Um, up until now, I've pretty much, you know, stuck to my yard. Um, if we go somewhere like to a beach, something like that, where it's just, you know, us hanging out, um, take pictures of whatever I happen to be wearing that day um, in front of my Disney background and my, uh, what I'm filming, that kind of thing. Um, so yesterday I had a couple of shirts for fairy tale wish designs that I need to take pictures of. And I was trying to come up with something different. So I went by myself with my tripod and my remote and a change of clothes and some accessories in a bag and went to a local park. The weather was beautiful. I did not really think about it was a holiday weekend and there would be so many people out and about. Um, it was a beautiful day. There was tons of people. Uh, my initial thought was, okay, I need to turn around and go home and we'll do this a different day. Um, but then, you know, there was like a professional photographer there taking some family pictures and, you know, some other stuff like that. So I thought maybe I wouldn't stand out quite so much. Um, I did though. <laughs> I got lots of looks when I would set up my tripod and like try to find creative places to take pictures. Um, but when I got overwhelmed, I would just take a minute, I'd give these people a smile, take some breaths, do my thing. Um, sorry, my dog is wandering around. Um, and, you know, all in all, it was fine. Um, I definitely got some looks. I finally had a really nice older lady stop and ask, she goes, I just have to ask what you're doing. Um, and I just kind of explained what I was out there doing and, you know, she was like, oh, that's so cool. Good for you. Um, you know, so none of the feedback was really negative, but I definitely got looks. It made me very self-conscious. Um, when I got home, I felt like really, um, 
like exhausted feeling almost like the adrenaline rush and like anxiety of getting everything done um, kind of just was like <sighs> but you know I just used my tools I did my best to just be confident in the fact that I was doing something I really wanted to be doing it was something that was fun for me I had a good time doing it as long as I could stay out of my head and like not worry about what other people are thinking um, and I just think that was a big win for me. It's something that had you asked me a year ago, I would never have gone and done that. Um, I would have talked about it. I would have made my plan. I would have been ready to go and I would have made an excuse. So as silly as it sounds and as like minor of a thing as it really is in the grand scheme of the world, for me, I felt like it was a big win and helped me like see how I would navigate in situations similarly. So um, I was proud of that and I just think that I used a lot of my tools that I use when I get panicky um, from letting myself elevate in my anxiety. So I was proud of that. Um, and I just felt like maybe that was a useful thing to share um, because I know some other people out there definitely feel similarly. I've chatted with a couple people about like being self-conscious with vlogging or doing content photos or whatever um, and it being that people that are at you know like obviously Disney is my Instagram focus and the other half of this YouTube channel that I do um, and I love it and it's such a passion of mine and such something that brings me a lot of joy but I don't get to the parks a lot but I still want to showcase how I you know I wear my Disney shirts all the time I wear my knot bands I wear my earrings whatever it may be and you know a lot of these businesses sell these stuff to people going on trips but a lot of us just wear them every day so I like having the option to help show that and so this was just really you know something I wanted to get more comfortable doing but in little Northwest Indiana that is not you know something you see very often you don't see people doing it so I knew to expect some weird looks and maybe even questions and stuff like that but you know I don't want to hold myself back from doing stuff I enjoy because of my anxiety um, that's always been one of the things that has bothered me about it I you know I'm very good at trying to monitor it not holding other people back um, like, I don't want my anxiety to hold my daughter back. I don't want my anxiety to hold us back as a family from going to do things that make me nervous. Um, that's always been something I've worked very hard to do. But when it comes to my own actions, I don't always hold myself to that standard. So I think it's important for us to acknowledge that and realize that, you know, it does hold us back sometimes, but we can also use these tools to manage a scenario um, and I think that's awesome and I was proud of that so I just wanted to share that little story with you guys and kind of update and something that you know if you feel self-conscious doing some of these things and whatnot it's just it's manageable and if anybody has any tips on how they manage that like I wouldn't call it embarrassment because it's not like I'm proud of what I do. I love it. I will share my stories with anybody who will listen. Um, but it's feeling self-conscious and when you feel like eyes are on you, it ups your anxiety. So I'm curious if any of you guys who do similar things in your hometowns and areas, what you do and if you have these feelings as well. Let me know in the comments below if you have any tips or tricks. Um, that you use to help make it a little less awkward feeling, um, I would appreciate it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I, let's go into this week and kick some butt, have a positive attitude, and I will see you guys. When will I see you guys? Next week, I will not be, or this week, I'm not posting on Saturday. I'll be posting on Monday or Tuesday my Disney content. Um, I have a box swap. It's super fun. I had a little surprise bonus in this swap, so make sure you keep your eyes out for that. Um, if you enjoy my Disney content, it's really, I got spoiled, and it was awesome. Um, and then, even if I post Monday, 
then I will post my mental health Monday video later in the day Monday um, or Tuesday morning. I'll still film Monday and get it up either Monday night or Tuesday morning. I can't remember if the swap goes up Monday or Tuesday, but I will have that content for you as well. And I have a lot of fun stuff coming up um, and I'm really excited about it. So I will see you guys next week. Have a good week. Bye.